Hi, I am Dr. Sharjeen and uh, today we would like to show you a very interesting case. So this 60 years old man was struck by the bull horn on the eye. So the superior the newels were broken and there is inferior subluxation of the mature cataract the cataract was brunescent so after applying retrobulbar block and uh, bridal suture to fix the position we are giving partial thickness incision with a 15 number blade you can see superior subluxation it's almost 180 degree we will try to show you in this video that uh, for such a large subluxation how to do cataract surgery without the aid of capsular tension ring now the first important step is that uh, you should not do the capsular axis with cystotome or uterata because it increases the zanular dehiscence so just after giving the nick the lens was moving dangerously and we came out because there is a chance of a nucleus drop so now after putting viscoelastic in such cases you should complete the rexes with one scissor to enter the one scissor you have to make the large cut so that the movements of the scissor will not hinder put the water on the cornea so it should not dry the nucleus was very hard so we didn't attempted the fake emulsification and now you can clearly see that with a mana scissor if you cut and you do the capsulotomy it will exert minimal pressure on the remaining intact zanules so that's one of the important points while doing cataract surgery in subluxated hard mature cataracts and now with a cystotome we are moving the nucleus out of the capsule into the anterior chamber now the nucleus is out of the capsular bag and into the anterior chamber So now with the help of a wire vectors by putting pressure at 12 o'clock with the help of cystitome we are slowly and gradually expressing the nucleus and trying our best not to exert too much pressure on the capsular bag. This is a very critical step in the management of subluxated lens. Now you can see that the nucleus is almost 
at the edge of the main wound but the wound was smaller so we are enlarging the wound in order to preserve the remaining zanules now again we are exerting the positive pressure with the help of wire vectors and slowly and gradually trying to express trying to deliver the nucleus our main aim is to preserve the bag and we are successful in our attempt of preserving the bag you can clearly see that the bag is present but you, you can also see that superiorly the zanules are broken now the next important step in such cases is that after nucleus delivery if you try to remove all the lens matter before inserting the intraocular lens you can damage the zanules and you may express the whole bag along with the lens matter so the first trick was to do the capsular access with utrata with the uh, one scissor and the next important step is that before removing the lens matter put the rigid 6.5 diameter uh, intraocular lens into the bag and place the haptics such a way that they serve just like they serve the purpose of CTR capsular tension ring the so as in our case the subluxation was superior so the lens should be placed the one haptic should be sick at six o'clock and the other will would be at 12 o'clock you should make sure that your lens intraocular lens doesn't move and become horizontal it should be vertical so the superior haptic it just works as a capsular tension ring like in our case the superior haptic expanded the bag and now the intraocular lens is working as a CTR it's in the bag there is no downward subluxation of the IOL and after applying three sutures we removed the remaining lens matter with ease the zanules were not disturbing and now we are applying the fourth suture so in this video you have seen extra capsular cataract surgery plus how to manage the subluxated lens ideally if you have got the capsular tension ring you should use it that's more safe more feasible but here it was not available so if you don't have the facility of CTR in this way you can manage the subluxated cataract and you should avoid the doing intra cap and anterior chamber intraocular lens which has which have many complications thank you very much